All right, welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore Season 3, Episode 14 on Day 601. So, since the last episode where we raided the Woodland Mansion, I have finished draining all the liquids from spawn chunks. Um, I, I Everything that is visible, I have completely gotten rid of. So, there probably will be... An, another so I'm gonna do this next sweep with the machine and then there will probably be another one after that as well but other than that all these lava and water pools everything is gone and uh I don't know if you were able to I don't know if how much of this you guys were able to see in the last episode but there was a shitload of obsidian Right, there was a lot of obsidian. There was in this area, and there was even more hidden behind this little outcrop there. And so, okay, I have some here, but... Yeah. <laughs> I have a sh over a shulker full of obsidian, which is ridiculous. Um, I, like, never have to worry about getting obsidian again, so... Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty nice, but before the night is out, I'm going to take down that machine and rebuild it in that corner, and I'm going to let it run. I don't actually know if I want to do it all the way back in that corner, because a lot of this area here is just, it's not necessary to, it's not necessary to get rid of, you know? But I don't think I have a single bit of sand left at all yeah did i really have exactly enough sand what the heck that's weird but i see some stuff down there i can just use stone for it i guess but yeah everything should be drained i know that there's in the lava pools that were still like half covered up by the stone and stuff i know that there's going to be parts that i missed and it's just too much of a hassle to drain that all now. So I'm going to have to wait for now. But I think it's ready. I might... Ugh, I don't know if I want to start it lay in like over in there-ish or not. Because like here, look at this. There's still some stone and the, the layer of black concrete will be here this is going to be the level that it's at right so theoretically a mob could spawn here and then it's not fully spawn proof it just seems to be in that area though but i know that towards the edges there is a lot of there is quite a bit of that but that shouldn't be too much of a problem if it's, if it's way over here along the edges yeah because Basically, the way I'm going to do this, the way it's going to work is spawn chunks is 304 by 304 blocks wide. So that is the approximate length of one of these walls. So the the spawning sphere for where... Spear? Yes, the spawning spear. The spawning sphere of where mobs can spawn around you has a radius of 124 blocks. So if I stand in the exact center of spawn oh sorry of spawn chunks then nothing should be able to spawn a good ways out so that should hopefully not be too big of an issue when it's near the edges so we probably don't have to worry about that too much but in this episode i'm going to not only be doing that but I also want to rebuild my sugarcane farm because obviously it's not it's not there anymore. So I'm going to have to rebuild it. But if the machine is going, I don't want to do it down closer to the surface. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to make a bunch of black dye. And I'm just going to expand out in this direction i guess 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess should be good for now. I don't want to like hear the machine going constantly when I'm up here on the platform. So if I start going out here, it should be good. If I go out three blocks in each direction, that should be enough to give me enough room to make this thing. It's not a very big machine, but I'm going to need a, an empty block here. I don't actually know if I still have the materials for it. I believe I used, because the machine blew itself up, right? So I lost a lot of the materials and I used leftovers from the machine, my, the zero tick farm to make it. So I don't think I had, no, I don't have any observers at all. So I'm gonna quickly get all the stuff together and bring you guys back once I have built up the machine. Okay, so I think I have this thing built up now. So if I place a redstone torch here. Yep, looks like it. Oh, yep, it's definitely working. So the whole thing looks a little wonky, but yeah, I can like faint, very, very faintly hear it when I'm like here. But uh, I had to, I originally planned on having the front here, but if you notice, it's a one block center, but we have a two block center path. So I had to change its the, the direction it'd be facing. And then it has a bunch of chests for storage and they're not going into the right chest. Why is, why? Oh, what am I doing? What, what was I trying to do here? Hold on, this needs to shut up. Okay. So this all needs to be pushed over one block. Okay, I think it's fixed now. Uh, it should be working if I do this and throw the sugar cane in. Why is... Okay, that does... Oh, right, I'm an idiot. If it's in the chest, it doesn't go down, but if it's in the hoppers, it does. So this thing works. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. But um, there's a problem with this. I don't know what exactly happened, but I somehow like lost a bunch of the materials I used to create the original farm. Like I had to make all of those hoppers just now because like, I don't know, I lost the hoppers from the original one. So this is all of the iron we have. <laughs> God, it's so bad. And most of that I just now went down there and just mined like 20 ore it was right on the surface so we had like maybe 10 blocks to our name moments ago so it, it's pretty it's pretty bad how how everything is looking right now but i'm just gonna uh, just throw it away in here except the glass i want to keep here so with that iron situation, we we desperately, desperately need an iron farm, which is going to be one of the first things I build once spawn chunks is fully, once we know we're not going to be messing around with more of it, once we know that we can just build farms and not have to worry about the machine going back through it. So, hopefully that'll come soon. And I still have the ink farm location mapped out, as you can see beneath me. But, apart from that, what were we gonna do this episode? Uh, I, I had plans, but I don't remember anymore. Oh yeah, I was gonna actually do some work over at spawn chunks well or not spawn chunks the farming village wasn't i yeah i think that's what i was gonna do uh, i got some more diamonds from draining the rest of the lava so there's that i should probably heal my tools as well but one thing i want is a bunch of andesite i think i have some in here yeah yeah Yes, yeah, yes, this is good, it's good. Because we're going to need a bunch to finish the... F 
farm wall, the walls of the farm, aren't we? That's all we have here. I'll be honest, I was expecting more, but it should last us here for a bit longer. But I need to make a stop to the Enderman farm and heal up my tools, because my pickaxe and shovel are getting pretty low. I just realized that it has probably been a couple episodes since you guys have been here back at the farming village. Literally, like, nothing's changed. I don't know if I've shown you guys this, but I finally got around to finishing this room and the nether portal room, as you can see. But, yeah, apart from that, literally nothing has changed. Um, pretty much everything here is still the same, so I got the villagers stuck here. I haven't really come back here at all since we really started spawn chunks, and when I have, it's just been to, like, Oh, I need to come here and grab some items for this thing I'm trying to build. Or, oh, I need to come back here to trade for some golden carrots. But, as you can see here, I have... I don't think you guys have even seen this, but I've built up the wall here on the left side. The base of it, anyways. And I, I have all the slabs and stairs in. And I just need to get to the texture variation. And I've also made this fancy little entrance for the wheat field and then I have to finish this the potato fields the potato field wall and then I don't know how much I'm actually going to how much I really like the idea anymore of doing this kind of village here um, I, I think I'm going to do some more farmer houses but I don't know how big it's going to really be and then of course this is still the same Again, we're going to be putting this, like, we're going to make this, like, a sheep pen or something. Then we'll have, like, a cow pen there, pig pen here, and then we'll need a chicken pen. And then that'll kind of be it for Farming Village, that this project will be finished. Apart from, of course, the, since we kind of have that forest area over there, I want to build up some more of it here, which is why I have... The fence posts here, those are going to be, those are markers for there's going to be a tree. And then, I'm not sure if I'm, I'm going to do this little mine entrance thing. Maybe if I'm bored one day and got nothing else to do, I'll come and actually make this a proper mine entrance. Even though we never go down there anymore. Not even for the skelly grinder. But, other than that, I think that's really all that I have to tell you guys for here but I do really like these trees that we have here I I don't I want to make more of these trees around the whole around the whole area like I was thinking down here I'll show you guys what I mean here in the center maybe well it's not as big as I thought I was thinking maybe we could have a big one of those trees here but it's not actually as big of a place as I thought and then this path is kind of tight here especially once I get these things on this wall hmm I'm not so sure about the dock idea either I don't know how big of a project I really want to make this place and if I were to make a dock I think it'd make more sense to go here maybe I can make a bridge over to the island here and then have the dock on the island itself kind of flatten this and completely customize it that might be that might be cool that, that might that might work uh, for the, this place fits into the story idea I have for this world in a certain way so if we do end up if I do end up doing that it's not going to be a big dock it's just going to be a small dock with like a little fishing boat or something because if it was a massive trade ship it would not make sense for it to really fit in this world but i think i'm gonna start doing some texture variation here for a bit um maybe do something else in the episode and then we can end it off by rebuilding the tnt machine and then i'll go afk for one night and then I will probably bring you guys back in the morning to show you guys how much work it's done. And then the next night AFK will either be in between episodes or 
some point in the middle of next episode. I'm thinking it'll probably be in between episodes so that we can actually get to work on, like, I guess, making farms. I plan on having a massive episode when we, when I, when I finally get the space to, like, build farms and stuff and all the stone and messy stuff is gone. I plan on having a big episode where we just build a bunch of farms. Like, we finish up building the ink farm, we build an iron farm, we build a creeper farm, and then just we'll have a lot of things just ready to go. Once once spawn chunks is finished, we're going to be able to just fully have pretty much access to everything in the game. Because if I want to farm, I just make it there. And especially if it's a hostile mob farm... Since there will be no other spot for mobs to spawn, it'll be stupidly efficient. Like, it'll be ridiculous how efficient our creeper farm is. Just like, I'll probably have to put an on-off switch for the creeper farm so it doesn't overflow. That's how crazy this thing is going to be. So, yeah, we're going to definitely have to do some busted farms in spawn chunks. Okay, so the texture variation is complete and all of the andesite is put in place. But now looking over here, I realize I forgot to put in mossy cobble, but I will do that later. I only have the mossy cobble spires put in place, but yeah. Now all the way around there is andesite, so I don't have to worry about doing that for a while until I do the wall for the potato field over there. Uh, but I think I'm going to take down the, I might, I think, I'm thinking I'm going to take down the, the, uh, machine over at Spawn Chunks and go ahead and get the AFK session in. Um, maybe I could also put in the cobblestone wall over there. But I think I'm going to do the first night AFK session in this episode. And then depending on if I can think of anything else to do, we can go ahead and just do both of the AFK sessions. Maybe even the third, depending on how long it takes. So, yeah. I, I, think, I think we're going to have to do two more full sweeps. Depending on how, how much is left in spawn chunks after this next sweep i might have to do a a third round i don't know why i didn't just take my nether portal whatever i'm not turning around now but yeah i think i i think i'm just gonna make like build a platform underneath the uh the machine completely tear it down and then just use the same parts i mean that's a logical thing to do i guess but yeah i'm going to it's not actually going to take me that long the machine is not hard to build at all so this probably won't take long i, I want to check real quick though how much sugar cane we have left well, let's see here let's see here not how much we have left but how much has been produced oh yeah that's a good ass amount we're going to be, I just realized, since this is going to take a couple more nights AFK, we are going to fill up on sugarcane over there. We're going to have so much. It's going to, that's going to like almost fill up with one night. I don't know. I'm going to have to add another layer of chests on this, aren't I? To fit all the sugarcane. I'll just do it now. It's going to look weird having that much. I might even have to do a third row. Or a second row on top of this one that I'm about to build. I I don't I don't know. I might have to, I might have to, but yeah, I'm just gonna Oh shit. Uh and just do that. And oh god dang it. Um yeah, so this I I don't think I'll do any progress updates between now and when I've rebuilt the machine. Just because it's pretty quick. It's not super long. I feel like 
with the amount of times I'll probably be using this machine for something, I'll eventually just memorize how to build it. Because <laughs> I remember in the comments of the video where the person made the machine, apparently it works in the 1.16 snapshots. I thought they were patching the TNT duping glitch that is used with this machine, but maybe not. I've also decided that I'm just going to, instead of starting it in the corner, I'm going to start it at about here-ish, maybe? Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we can start it here. Just because the stuff that's on this edge anyways will probably be out of um, the spawning sphere when I'm AFK here. And if there isn't, there's only going to be a few blocks that are outside the spawning sphere, so it won't be that big of a deal. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take down this machine and get to work. Alright everyone, I have the machine built up again. I didn't start exactly on the edge, like far over there, but I didn't start super far in either. But I've noticed, you're, you, you can see that I get these weird freezes every once in a while. And I've noticed it's when I move to a different chunk, going in that direction. It's no other direction, only in that direction. I don't even think if I go that way, it'll give me that weird freeze. So I don't know what's going on with this. I don't know if it's just because I'm in a weird ass area where there's nothing and my shitty computer just can, can't comprehend it. But yeah, this machine's built up. The return station is also in place. So hopefully this all works out properly. If I come over here, yep, there's the return station looking correct. I think that's what it's supposed to be anyways. I kind of just winged it based on my memory. <laughs> Probably not the smartest move, but I think everything's all correct. So we can go ahead, go over and start the machine for a test run. So I'm just going to quickly hop over onto here. Jump on the observers, I always do. Didn't catch the block, unlucky, but yep, it appears to be working. And it's breaking. It's correctly launching the TNT. Uh, I am actually a little kind of nervous because the TNT drops about in this line and it might make the wall look weird. But if it's only going to be by a small margin if it is, if it does affect it, so I can just come back in with my pick later and do some tidying up if I really have to. I didn't actually see, did the, okay, the returning station worked. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the machine because I'm not going to go AFK quite yet. And I need to put a redstone block ahead of it in that direction so that it stops right. So, yeah, I think next time you guys see me, it will be the next morning for an update on how far it gotten, it got, it gets overnight. My guess is that it'll... Honestly, my guess is that when I wake up, it's going to be around like here, maybe a little further this way. And if it is, then I will just kind of let it run throughout the day when I'm not playing. And even when I'm playing, because it's in spawn chunks, I just realized I could just go do other shit at the farming village and let this thing go. But if it is around here, when I wake up, I'll just go afk for an another few hours without playing and just let it finish its run so yeah if that if that's the case you guys will see all the progress in a single episode all right everyone so i went afk at about 4 30 a.m when i went to sleep and it is now 10 34 p.m <laughs> so i was afk for like what 18 hours maybe i don't know i don't know and uh this is what the machine has left to do you can see it's still running it has like i just counted it has like 30 more blocks to go maybe and in terms of the sugarcane farm this chest is about to fill up however 
it almost filled up of like a couple hours ago or so so i had to empty out a couple double chests so we have two and a half added on to all of that that we've obtained so yeah overall we got a pretty good haul of resources but i have no clue how this much lava was hiding underneath all of that like honestly I don't know how there was that much hidden from my sight, but I think once I get rid of all of this lava, pretty much any blocks that are underneath it, I can just mine with my pickaxe. So I don't think we're going to have to actually run the machine again, but I think that since we have some time left to fill this episode and I don't have really anything I want to do I can tell you guys the story ideas that I have for this world so if you guys remember I said I was gonna do it once this place is finished but I'm doing it ahead of time and remember when this place is finished it's going to look like I'm going to put a layer of black concrete above the bedrock so it looks like void it looks like there's no bedrock so keep that in mind with when I'm explaining the story for this place. So basically, the overarching story that I have for the whole world involve this this is involved with the overall arching story and all of the builds we make in the future will somehow be related to this story. The each each build that we make will play a part in the story of this world. And this build is one of the most important for the story I've come up with. So, basically, in this kind of weird canon night story idea thing I have in my head, uh, the, this world was once, like, inhabited by a bunch of, uh, like, a whole bunch of people that kind of just lived across the land. They had cities and shit like that. Just, you know, what a normal civilization would have. And they be, they were becoming, you know, they were building more cities. They needed more resources. So they started a massive mining quarry. They started this massive area as a mine. And spawn chunks here, all of this is the mine. This is what they were able to carve out. And so as it became more advanced and they wanted more stuff they began to wonder what was beneath the bedrock and so eventually they built a machine that was able to break through said bedrock which is why this whole place is going to look like void is what why it's going to look like there's no there's no bedrock and they did finally break bedrock they broke through however there were things waiting down beneath the world in the void for them. There was like a whole... The idea is that there was a bunch of monsters underneath the bedrock. Like massive sort of dragon-like things. And when they broke through, they unleashed them into the world. And they were unable to kill any of them. And so they kind of destroyed everything. I like completely destroyed all of their builds and... That's why there's a few ruins, like underwater ruins, that are in the world in this idea I have. Because it, they're just the remnants of this ancient civilization. And so that's how this place fits into the story. This is where kind of everything broke free from underneath. And at the same time, it makes spawn chunks spawn proof no mobs will be able to spawn here so we'll be able to do a bunch of crazy farms here and then of course i said that every one of the builds we do has a part in the story and farming village way over in that direction has its own kind of part in the story basically farming village the farming village was there it was created by a group of survivors there were like some of the survivors of the whole kind of apocalypse pretty much was they 
created the farming village and they just live off the land that they that they now own so that's kind of how farming village fits into it and then i have let's see here how many other build ideas do i have for this world i have a build idea for our actual mega base apart from the farming village and just sitting up here <laughs> that uh has a very important part in the story as well uh I have a build idea for the nether and what we're going to be doing in there. I have a build idea for one of the ocean monuments that's underneath the frozen ocean biome. It also is incorporated with this world story. And all of them are, like I said. And then, is there, I, I thought I had another. Did I not have another one? I don't know. I, I'll have to check. I'll, I'll have to rack my brain. I have them written down all somewhere, but I feel like if I had an idea, I, I could. I'd be able to remember it. If I, I'm thinking of ideas that we could possibly do at the, if we have room for the double witch farm, I want to see if I can do something there, but I don't know if we'll be able to actually successfully create a double witch farm and have it work properly so it's sometime like next episode or something we can do some testing and see if we can find a spot that we can stand in that would activate both farms at once because they basically the entirety of each farm has to be within like what is it a, a 258 blocks of each other and I don't know if they are. I think they might be. But if we make a double witch farm, I will. it will probably involve me blowing up everything like we do he, that we've made here. It, like that, that's, that's the idea I, would, I have. If, if we're going to spawn proof it, I think we'll blow it to smithereens again like we've done here. But I'm not entirely sure yet. So, yeah, once we... I think we're at the point as well where we can start making farms here. Because, again, I don't think it's gonna... There's gonna be a whole lot of blocks. I don't think there's gonna be a whole lot of blocks underneath the lava. So, we will probably be able to start farms next episode. Because I don't know if I'll be able to... I don't know if I'm going to be draining everything here in between episodes. I might just get started on building the farms, which the first few farms that we're going to make are going to be the uh, an iron farm will probably be the first one we can will make and then we can build a the, the, the creeper farm and the squid farm will probably be next just because creeper farm will be useful to have and shit I can't get up here and we have the foundation for an ink farm which is why this obsidian is here and plus we're gonna need a crap load of we're gonna need a crap load of what's it called black dye to make the black concrete like, actually, if I do some calculations, so, what is this, 9? This is 9, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's not right. 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, it is right. It is right. So, that's, like, where I can just do 9, 18, uh, 27, 36, 45, 54. So, if, again, it takes, like, 1,444 stacks of black of, of black concrete and I think it'll take so if I divide that by the 56 slots I think it'll take 25 almost 26 double chests full of black concrete <laughs> and then I think it takes one black die to make one one or it takes one black die to make eight concrete 
So if I divide 1,444 by 8, I think. No, that's not right. That's that's definitely not, not right. <laughs> I'm really bad at math, okay? But, yeah, with all of that out of the way, I think it's time to end the episode. Next episode, this will all be gone. I'm just gonna sit, I'm just gonna do work around here, start draining for the next few hours or so, and then this thing will eventually finish up. So, yeah, sometime in the next couple episodes, it's gonna be nothing but bedrock beneath us, and I cannot wait to see that. I cannot wait. So, yeah, with all of that out of the way, I hope you guys all enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.